Hello everybody, this is Abni here and we are back on the Ripple Effect server in my base and as you can see the farm is producing a lot of honey. It's dripping down, it's disgusting, but it's super, super productive. That's very, very awesome. I'm super happy with that. Um, I don't know why I'm here. We don't necessarily see it better from here, but yeah, no, we see it well from here. That looks cool. I like it. Um, so today we have many, many plans. Uh, so let's first go to our... Uh, Christmas holiday winter area that we have because there's a small game contest thing that's uh, that's gonna happen over there so I'm, I'm gonna go there and explain it a bit more so this here is the tunnel that goes to the Christmas area let's head over there it has been uh, so far built by Croc 17 and he made a an ice sculpture competition to uh, help decorate the area. So far we only have one and three, I think, made by Carl. He made a an, an anatomically accurate polar bear with an actual butt crack for some reason. I'm not sure why, but hey, that's, it looks really cool. But I wanna build something here too. So I need to pick a spot and I, I think I'm gonna choose this one. Carl hesitated between this one and and the one that he picked so I'm, I'm gonna pick this one what we have to do to uh, to subscribe to the game to participate in the game is rename one diamond block with my name oh I'm getting very very poor that's that's sad uh, so I gotta rename this uh, there you go and claim a spot and build a statue mostly out of ice and snow and so yeah i'm gonna build this right now and there it is that's my sculpture uh it, it i hope it's quite obvious what it is uh basically we i had to do an ice sculpture so i, I sculpted fire out of ice I, I don't know i thought it was funny so yeah that's what it is or what it's, it's supposed to be it should also be spawn proof oh except for maybe the inside yeah stuff can definitely spawn inside here so let's just put a torch it shouldn't melt anything that's not supposed to melt maybe this one we'll see um but yeah that, that should be safe like that but now i have had some great news from mr carl rides uh, my map is ready the one that i ordered from here two episodes ago so i'm gonna go out and head over there to discuss payment with him well where <laughs> is carl oh hello hi Obdi. how are you? you i'm doing good in you <laughs> Very good indeed. I've just finished your map. Yay! Well, it's not my well, map yet. Cause the grid, anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's well enough, thank you. Awesome, no awesome, worries, awesome. No worries, no uh, worries. Do you want to come and see it in its big glory? Of course, of course. Over here. So, ignore the wither. <laughs> it's, it's hard to ignore. It's <laughs> yeah, cool. it really is. It's massive. <laughs> So, my friend, your boundary starts from this white line to yeah. the white line on this side over here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So you can see where you've got to build. So you've got a lot of placing to do, my friend. Yep, yep, yep. That's um, <laughs> probably going to be the rest of the episode, maybe. I'm not sure. I'll see if I put it, if I do it in this episode or the next one. Yep. But yeah, no it's, it's going to be a big project. <laughs> It is. These do take a long, long time to do, but you've got a little, a little chill out zone over Ooh, here. Nice. You got yourself a crafting Lit. table. Yay. A little bed. Is it bouncy? Cartography yes. table. Bouncy. <laughs> oh, cartography table is going to be quite useful because I'm probably going to need to lock them, uh, like when. Yeah. Because I'm going to change them because there's going to be multiple maps anyway. With your Something. you are here thing, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be moving be around. Really cool. Awesome. And so there's some maps in there for uh, you nice. with some glass as well. Nice, nice, nice. Ten are provided as part of the service. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I should be able to get more if I need some. <laughs> yeah. 
there's uh it's they're actually quite cheap like um a compass and a bit of paper actually <laughs> quite good yeah we yeah it's uh i, I, should I be can't fine. do parkour <laughs> <laughs> it's just so jumping. uh <laughs> it's, it's uh, jumping's difficult it's it's difficult for me <laughs> so so all i require from you yes is 20 of your finest diamonds sir yeah, that's the thing that I wasn't sure. It's diamonds. It's not diamond blocks, right? No, no. Okay. You could give me diamond blocks if you like. <laughs> uh, even if I liked, I couldn't. Because <laughs> I'm getting very, very poor. To be Last... honest, neither could I. At this <laughs> Last episode, I, I bought some uh, soccer boxes full of bottles from Jimbo. And, and I lost... Uh, I, I saw... I... Yeah, you saw that. I kept only three. Uh, I lost three. So I had to buy another three. So I'm it getting a, short. It was a sad moment. It was yes. a very sad moment. Here's your money. Beautiful. Thank you very much, and sir. Thanks to you. No problem. I'm in the money. I'm <laughs> in the money. I mean... No! <laughs> what? You know what? I, I didn't, didn't even grab any. That's... <laughs> You know what? I did the same thing with Sid last season. He gave me diamonds and I threw them on the floor. He went, that's a gift. Thank you. Goodbye. I mean, it's quite obvious. <laughs> that's, why, that's why you have to throw them upwards. Yeah. So they fall on, directly <laughs> on you. There, there it is. That's the ticket. That's how it works. <laughs> awesome. So Great. I will well, leave you to it. You've got yeah. the sheep farm over there for your carpet. Yeah. And uh, enjoy. Thanks. Awesome. No worries. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. Cheers, mate. And I actually took the time to make the entire map today. Uh, I wanted to make it in a time lapse first, but I kind of figured out that it was a bad idea because it would have been way too long to record this entire thing. It wouldn't have been like that good of an idea. It wouldn't have been very fun to look at either, I guess. Um, so that's what oops, that's what the map looks like. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I did remove some blocks here to put some banners underneath, some renamed banners. In case you did not know, if you rename a banner in an anvil and you click while holding a map, and you click on it, see, now it disappeared, and now it's back in. Disappeared, back in. Um, so yeah, you can have named stuff on maps which is very very cool that that allows me to name my my shops without having to do some kind of uh text or well pixel text a anyway yeah and we have this cute little walrus face that's that's kind of uh, showing us where we are when we're looking at the map there's going to be multiple maps everywhere uh, uh, all around the the shopping mall so there's uh, these are going to be useful eventually when it's bigger um, there's just this one thing here uh, I made it as a checkerboard because it's already dug out but I'm not really ready to open it yet though I might open it later today in the episode we're gonna have to see how long we have left after the next project which we are going to head out to it's actually gonna be at my base uh, so I guess I'm gonna go back to town to put this map in my uh, in the walrus mart also I could write some stuff on top yeah that's something that might happen anyway yeah I I'm gonna head back there now and we'll see about that later And we're back to my base and the next project is gonna be down this little hole here. I've never showed this yet, but uh, it's uh, basically just a crappy little staircase that leads down to a big hole that I dug out. Um, it's kind of where I first started strip mining to get all my diamonds. And I did isolate a few slime chunks here. Well, there are a lot of slimes right now. That's quite annoying, um, but I uh, I picked these two chunks specifically because well first they are slime chunks so that's what I'm uh, that's what I need. I'm pretty sure you figured out so far the, that uh, I'm gonna make a slime farm. That's why I I need slime chunks. 
unbelievable, right? Um, so I want to take these two here because they're right underneath my island. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm going to use these two to make my slime farm. I might use some other ones, like there are two over there that are adjacent. I might use these ones eventually, like if I want to AFK down here. But for the moment, I want one that will be loaded when I'm, uh, well, or that will be more active when I'm up in my base up there, in my little house. And uh, let's pick this wall here. Oops. And I'm I'm gonna decorate the walls because I, I don't want to have it just be like a bland stone wall like that. So for that, I'm gonna use these blocks here. Uh, I know they're not very popular, this uh, this uh, crimson color. Uh, people don't necessarily like it all that much, but I'm, I'm okay with it. And I think that they look quite good. Wait a second. If uh, uh, if you put them next to... to wait, sorry, I'm, I'm a bit all over the place right now. But I, I'm going to make kind of a simple pattern like that, like for the, the entire walls. And then I'm going to add like... Uh, uh, let's try something like that, maybe. I'm gonna add some kind of veins or some more like randomized uh, pieces of warped crimson, uh, warped wood. Or is that, is that how it's called? Warped stems, yeah. Uh, and I think they do fit in well together. It's kind of, that's, that's like the base and something kind of grew on it. So yeah, I, I like the way it looks. So it's, it, the entire wall is gonna be like that, so this basic pattern, then just veins growing randomly all around the, the, the places. Go away, stupid thing. Please die. Thank you. Um, so that's why I didn't actually build the farm before I decided to decorate it, uh, because they, they're annoying. Yes, you are. You're very annoying. So as I said, I'm gonna do that. Uh, only little problem is some parts of the farm, like this corner here, here, I think, or maybe this one, and there's another corner for uh, in this one. I, I think it's this corner there and that one there. Uh, they stick out, and we see them in the for, uh, in the water uh, uh, up above from the from the water. So uh, I'm gonna put glass for these little corners uh, instead, and I'm gonna use I want to use some cyan glass. The problem is I do not have any green dye, nor do I have any cactus, but I think that Winter is selling cactus. So this is Win Oil, Winter Graves shop, so let's take a look at what he has for sale. He has a lot of stuff, to be honest, uh, kelp, terracotta, stuff like that. Oh yeah, he has a smelting service, I think, new, it's a... Uh, it's, it's not new, it's the, sh the smelting service. Anyway, and he has some cactus at one diamond a stack. That's that's not cheap. Come on, Winter. You crook. Okay, that was mean. I'm sorry, Winter. You're not necessarily a crook. Nothing's been proven yet. But I'm just gonna buy a single stack for that reason. Um, so, 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 let's uh, go and take a look at my shops, just in case something has been sold. Not at all um, obvious, right, where I'm going with that. Uh, nothing's been sold here. About here, how about here, no, nothing. Oh, see that little light? That means that I have an order here. So let's take a look at that. I, I really did not know about that beforehand. Not at all. Hi, walrus boy. First of all, I'm a walrus man, not a walrus boy. But anyway, uh, doors galore. So it's from YD White. YD Hawaii Okay. Is it Hawaii Dai? Hawaii Dai? Anyway. I would like you to remove every door on the server and send everyone to my shop. Thank you, bye bye, nine diamonds or plus more, okay. Um, every door on the server is, is gonna be quite quite expensive, so I, I'm gonna figure something out with, uh, with YD uh, for that, because it's, it's more than just nine diamonds, or was it nine diamonds? 
bucks. No, nine diamonds for that. <laughs> okay, we'll see, we'll see about that. I'm gonna go and talk to to YD. We'll uh, we might do that on the next episode or something like that because I really want to finish my slime farm. So I'm gonna go back home. So one thing you might not know about me is that. I'm quite bad at evaluating the amount of materials that a project will require uh, but it still gives us uh, a good idea of what the, the entire room is gonna look like um, so tell me if you like it or not I'm I'm happy with how it looks uh, I, I like this one better than this one uh, I think th this one here is a bit less it's more light on the um, the amount of uh, those little uh, veins or roots or whatever you might want to call those uh, this one's a bit too concentrated. I'm not sure if it's the right word for this, but um, yeah, the, 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 there's too much of, of of the stuff. I think it could be better with uh, with less. I, I did work on it a, a bit to make it a bit lighter, but anyway, I want your opinion on that. This one is, I feel pretty much like this one, so I, I just ran out of materials, sadly. Um, but yeah, running out of materials make, uh, means I'm gonna have to cut this project in half and finish it later at a, a later time because I don't have time to gather all the materials and I'm gonna need to cover all the rest of the room and then build it before I, before my release. Uh, it basically is gonna be tomorrow. I, I wanna release the videos on Fridays. Um, let's head back up there. So uh yeah it's kind of like actually the what happened with the hide and seek uh game had to cut it in half uh but we will get back to that game later and it allowed me to get some very very cool suggestions for you uh for you from you sorry um but yeah that's so that's pretty much it for this little project here um one last little thing that i want to talk about for this episode is something that i already hinted at uh, when I showed the map, which we can see right here, so I changed that little thing here that was a kind of a checkerboard pattern. Uh, it's now, it's now, uh, that's magenta. It's now magenta, so yeah, and it has a name also, so I can't really keep it a surprise. It's gonna be a food court. Also, I added the name of the place here, and I really think it's way too high on the map. I wanted to leave space for more expansions up there but yeah it lo it just looks weird uh, that high so i might have to go back one day and move it down a bit but that's neither here nor there let's just go take a look at that food court so it's down here it's been here for a while and yeah it's a kind of a big ish open space with uh, one two three four five five open spots four uh, little restaurants that we could have down here uh, so I'm gonna open this to uh, the other ripplets if you have any form of food that you would like to sell uh, you can come here and and sell it I might have to ask for a um, a little amount of money I forgot the uh, rent money yes or a, a rent for uh, to, to use this it's prime location I mean close to an ATM to the archaeologist's guild and the, the, all, all the stuff down here so yeah it's a great business opportunity you should definitely try and get one as soon as you can because there's only five so yeah they're gonna run out fast I assume but on that note that's gonna be it for today I hope you enjoyed if you did press a button or another they all do the same for me if you didn't like it press a button also I'm I won't be sad or mad or anything thank you for watching and bye bye